Good morning. Our topic today is on physical quantities. Now recall that physics is a study of matter and its motion. Physical quantities are just the main actors of this study. So these are the ones that we measure and quantify. So let me write that. Measure and quantify. So we'll be dealing with numbers here. Now let's jump to an example. We have here a motion of a car. This blue car is moving to the right. So my question to you is, how are we going to describe the motion of this car? So one thing I have in mind is distance. Okay. So let's say this car was able to cover 50 meters. Hmm. So that means the distance here has a value of 50 meters. And say this car was able to cover this distance in 10 seconds. And so we have another physical quantity here, time, which is equal to 10 seconds. Okay. What else? Hmm. Although it's not very obvious in the figure, we can also discuss about the speed of the car. It's a measure of how fast or how slow the car is, and that is just distance over time. So in value, that will be just 50 meters divided by 10 seconds, and simplified, that will be 5 meters per second. Now, notice how we express the values of these uh, physical quantities. We always have numbers, right? For distance, we have 50. For time, we have 10. For speed, we have 5. And beside those numbers, beside these numbers, we have this, units. So we have m for meters, s for seconds, and m over s for meters per second. That means our physical quantities are expressed as combination. So I need to write that. It's a combination of a number and unit. Okay. Most students forget about the unit part. So please never forget writing the unit when expressing physical quantities, when expressing the values of your physical quantities. Okay, now in the scientific community, we use the international system of units. So this is also denoted as SI. Okay. Now in international system of units, you have two basic uh, classification for your units. You have the basic units or called also as the fundamental units. And the other ones are the derived units. So in basic units, we have what we call the magic seven. Huh? We call that magic seven. Magic seven is LMT dash Tala. Okay. What is LMT dash Tala for? So you have that here. Ta -da. L is for length which has a unit of meter, and meter, that will be just small letter m. For mass, we have kilogram, and that is just kg. Mm -hmm. For time, which we had earlier, uh, that is just second. For temperature, Kelvin, this is after the name Lord Kelvin, it's after a person's name, so it will be capital letter K. So in the same manner here in electric current, ampere is from a person's name, so that will be capital letter A. And for the luminous intensity, that is candela, so that is CD. And for the amount of substance, mole, so it's just uh, M-O-L without the, without the E. Okay, so these are the basic or fundamental units in SI. Uh, the ones that you will be mostly dealing with in the first part of studying physics are these three. But anyway, in the future, you will be meeting the other four. So, if these are the basic units, what are the derived units? So, all others are derived units. We all 
Where we had an example earlier, remember speed? Speed, the unit of speed we had was in meters per second, right? M is for the length and S is for the time. So speed uh, has a unit of meters per second and so meters per second is a derived unit. Another, er another one is for area. So for example, if I have here a rectangle, then side one and side two, area is just side one times side two, right? And the unit here is, say, meters per, ah, uh, meter square. Another example. Um, now I want to, I, I like, I love to draw, draw here, so. This guy is pushing something. He's pushing this box. Okay. So, what am I thinking? We are talking about force. Uh, the unit for force is Newton. N. It's after a person's name. Okay. So that's why it's capital letter. And it's equivalent to kilogram meter per second squared. So again, it's a combination of the basic units that we have. Kilogram for mass, meters for length, and S for the time. So that's Newton. So again, these are just few or some of the derived units. So there are still lots and lots of derived units in physics. Okay. So that that ends our lesson. Thank you for listening. This is Doc Bintat sending you all my love. Bye bye.